Hello everyone, I'm Vignesh and I'm happy to connect with all of you once again. Manage Engine Password Manager Pro version 9.0 has been unveiled and it's now ready for your avail. This version is all about the new sleek and stylish user interface. It also focused to deliver optimized performance. We're sure you all will feel it once you upgrade to version 9.0. Let's take a quick tour. Our dashboard is completely redefined in such a way to provide critical information in a single window. Dashboards are segregated into two sections. The first one focuses on the passwords and the second one focuses on the users and their activities. In the password dashboard, we have introduced live audit feed. Basically, this gives you the ability to get instant notification for the operation types you prefer. For example, I am very much interested to get a feed whenever an account gets deleted within the product. All I have to do is to customize and choose the operation type I am interested in. I also has the option to define the refresh time interval as per my convenience. Also, active remote sessions will be a part of the new dashboard. This gives you the list of users that are connected to various resources using the auto logon option within the product. This gives you a cutting edge approach to shadow privileged sessions. All your resources will be available under the resources tab. Resources tab gives you two different views. First one, resources views and the second one, password view. Resource actions clubs all the actions that are associated with a resource such as add account, edit resource, share with users and user groups as well as resource details as you see in the screen. Account actions are available when you drill down to specific resource. Account actions clubs all the account related activities such as change password, share with users, delete account, etc. If I prefer to perform bulk operation, I could make use of the resource actions menu. Let's say I wish to enforce access control workflow from my critical resources. First, I need to select those critical resources and then navigate to resource actions and click on access control workflow. Here, I could define the workflow policy as per my environment needs. You have an option to customize column width and rearrange the columns as per your convenience. In this scenario, I want to resize the column width for the description column and it would be done by adjusting the column width. I also prefer to move the resource type column next to the resource action column and this is how I would drag and drop the column. The delegation concept gets a new look and feel. So once you click on share resources to users, you will get the screen and you have the option to type the required users and provide the required privilege. You could also make use of the filters. For example, if you are looking to filter all the users that has the rights to view the passwords for a specific resource, you just have to choose view permission users. You have the option to revoke the access or change the access scope as per your requirements. This can be done on a bulk basis as well as on individual basis. We have also introduced the pinning option in the resources tab. The concept here is when you have multiple research groups and when you prefer to have a default group to be listed while navigating to the resources tab, then you should use this feature. Research groups are represented as groups. Let's say I wish to filter research groups that are owned by me. Then I could use the filter option and choose the share type as owned. 
If at all, I need to modify an existing resource group. In other words, either to add or remove resources from an existing resource group, I would navigate to associate resources and achieve my use case. All the actions associated to a resource group such as share to users, share to user groups, transfer ownership, etc. are available under the actions tab. Auto logon tab is now replaced with connections tab. Users tab has also been revamped. The filter option brings a lot of credit to the user experience. Maybe I would like to filter the users that own resources, then I could use this filter option. All the user related actions are clubbed and represented under user actions. Here is a super good news. Oh yes, the audit tab has been revamped in such a way to give 300 times optimized performance. You should be able to collapse the page and delve into the audit trials. Reports tab also gets an elegant look and feel. Admin tab has also been revamped. You could make use of the search tab to find the respective admin feature. For example, let's say I wish to enable syslog integration. All I have to do is just to type syslog in the search tab and navigate to the syslog settings. In addition, we have also provided our users to change the theme as per their convenience. In order to change the theme, just navigate to the user icon and click on the personalize button. Change the theme as per your wish. I think you all like the new add-ons we have incorporated. We are working on a few more exciting features and we hope to unveil them pretty soon. Do make use of the new features and avail maximum benefits. Thank you once again for watching.